create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hi, Virgo. Oh, I just automatically got choked up. Hi, Virgo. Thank you for being here. Thank you for, <coughs> excuse me. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All right, let's get into this. Thank you, God, for blessing Virgo with a clear, concise message from you. So, Virgo, when I was uh, meditating off camera for you, I got fire dance for you. Now, I don't know if you were somewhere where they did like the fire dance or the person has like, you know, like the hula hoop and the sticks or whatever, and they're lit on fire or it's like some ritual, you know, in, in terms of you trying to invoke or someone's trying to invoke some type of um, spirit uh, in terms of a uh, ritual fire dance. Also, it could be an offering to a spirit or a deity. So I don't know, your little witchy vibes is coming out, Virgo. Let's see what's going on for you. All right, let's see what the situation is for Virgo here. What is going on for Virgo? We've got message, our message in a bottle. Someone could be sending you a message maybe in seven days. Um, it's a good news message though. You could be getting approval, a yes answer, moving forward, uh, a message out of nowhere. Let's see, it could be about a relationship, a business or something of that matter. Let's see. Yeah, thoughts. So it could be someone who you were in a relationship with. This breaks down to a seven also. So we got seven, seven is showing up. Maybe something happened in the month of July. Um, a deciding factor, deciding, I don't know, someone decided to go their own way also. Um, somebody can hold it together. You know, they can keep the relationship together. Maybe they're, they're uh, communicating with you, contacting you out of the blue. They're thinking of you, uh, especially if it's a man to a woman. But this could be any sex, same sex, what you know, whatnot. But it's an energy of someone wanting to figure out what's going on with you, look you up, inquisitive, inquiring about you. Something about the fire dance. Okay, so you could be very attracted to them at this time. Okay, they could have seen you perform or do something. Or um, this person could have seen, could have seen, okay, I heard social media where you posted something on social media where it looks like you are having fun, you are on vacation or you're doing something in regards to um, just fun or, or, or look, you're looking sexy also. So this person is now wanting to reach out to you. I, unexpected income. So it definitely could be unexpected income, but this card a lot of times comes up when there's an unexpected message out of the blue. You get another seven showing up, but this turns into a nine. So maybe this month, then, you know, um, it is your birthday season. Happy birthday, by the way. Um, oh, it looks like the battery is exhausted. Hang on, guys. I'm going to get another battery. You can still hear me. But it looks like this month, someone is uh, reaching out to you. Someone is wanting to close out a cycle or continue or start something new with you. You know, whether it be new or it be that they come to you 
um, they come into you renewed or they want to they want to clear the cycle or clear the slate with you okay or they may I, they might even want to start something up with you maybe around your birthday just trying to come to you maybe because it's opportunity also right now you know it's opportunity let's see all right we should be back on all right yeah so this person could be wanting to come to you. The door open, unexpected. They also could be coming to you saying, you know, here's a birthday gift or offering or, you know, offering to take you out. This could even be invitation. One more card for what's going on for Virgo. Yeah, distant horizon. Okay, so this was um, somebody that definitely you put some space and some time between the two of you. Okay, they could have been estranged from you. You guys were not talking. Therefore, they were thinking about you, thinking about reaching out to you. Prime opportunity around your birthday, around the next holiday, right? Um, this person didn't like being without you or without your energy. They didn't like how you cut them off um, or vice versa. Let's see what else is going on. What is external to Virgo here? So it looks like somebody's taking opportunity. Somebody could be coming back and saying that they've grown up or they've grown or, you know, life has shown them lesson or something of that nature. Let's see. All right. Let's see what's going on. What is external to Virgo? External to Virgo. External to Virgo. External. Okay. So Ten of Cups here. What's external to you is that somebody does want to call a truce. Okay. Let the madness in. Start a new um, set the stage for happiness with you. Maybe you want their family back or wants to be in a family dynamic with you or wants you to have or have a family with you. Let's see what else. What's happening for Virgo here? What's, okay. Um, yeah, the Hierophant. So this person could want to. Okay, so this is mitigating a tough situation or um, fragile situation or um, discord. So maybe there was like an argument, breakup. Um, you guys weren't on the same page. This person is saying, you know, let's bring some more, some law, some order to how we deal with one another. Let's bring some traditionalism. This could have been someone that you're married to or were married to or you wanted to get married to or were in a relationship with. Somebody saying, let's bring more of that into the connection. We were dealing with one another lawless. Okay. What else? external to virgo external to virgo okay the six of cups definitely somebody from your past or you have a significant past with them you have a child children with them um you have grown up with them or you went through some monumental change uh, shift in in energy emotional maturity with this person uh also somebody wants to just get back to simpler times this is energy external to you so they want to get back to simpler times things got a little too complicated they want to declutter let's declutter our our emotions we got too emotional and therefore we made emotional decisions so it looks like somebody wants to reach back out to you okay and this is you know external the external energy is that they, they really are trying to make something work that they're, they're in their emotions though good emotions um they're in a place of just wanting to go backwards they're nostalgic about you the relationship was good it felt good with you all right let's see what is the advice for you virgo what is the advice for virgo here with the six of cups here it says declutter your emotions it also says connect backwards so yeah definitely someone wanting to connect backwards with you get to simpler times say i love you you know somebody just wants you know things to be reduced they want harmony here with you balance balance out the energy it's too much tough times it's too much argument it's too much hatefulness all right let's see what is the advice for virgo advice advice for virgo ace of wands okay be up for the challenge this will be a challenge okay um, put some energy, some effort, some time, some motivation behind this. You're going to have to do something. You're going to have to actively be engaged and involved in this, okay? 
Um, back to the fire dance, the ace of wands there. So um, whatever you did, you definitely attracted this person back to you and they want you. All right, let's see. Um, what is the advice? Yeah, four of wands. It looks like you're going to get what you want. You're going to get maybe reunion, um, a cause to celebrate, family life, moving in together. Um, somebody wanted to be more, I heard more gentleman-like, more lady-like with you. Um, they, they feel like they found the one, your yin, yang, energy, twin flame, whatever you want to subscribe to, soulmate. It looks like somebody's going to be in the energy of wanting to take you out, show you off, parade you around, promote you. Um, this is redoing, redo it, reunion, re. So somebody's wanting to do something over, redecorate, redecorate the relationship. I don't know, make it look like something else. Let's see. Um, what is the advice? This is the advice for you. Okay. You've got two action cards, two wands, do something fast. Okay. Bring this back together quickly. Okay. Uh, is the advice there? Let's see what else. Out uh, of four swords. Okay. So you guys need to come up with a plan for the future, laundering a plan for the future, reduce this energy down, go on vacation with one another. Um, Take some time to where you're resting in the energy of coming back together. This is a fragile time. It's like make it or break it. It's like if this doesn't work, then we need to be done. Yeah, the universe is asking you to call judgment. Do you want this or not? Make a snap, fast decision. I got that with the wands here in regards to either reviving this, reliving this, or being done with it. Don't be double-minded. Where you want it one day, you don't want it the next day. So, um... That is the advice for you. Let's see what the future holds for you. Where are those cards going? Lord. All right, so let's see what the future holds for you. What does the future hold for Virgo? What does the future hold for Virgo? What does the future hold for Virgo? A love call told you someone is expressing love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know it. So we saw that here. Somebody's going to reach out to you. It's like, what better time than your birthday, right? All right, let's see. What else do we have for Virgo? Whoa, engagement ring. Okay, very nice. Commitment, eternity, completion, union. We saw that too. We saw somebody's like, I want to make this official or... I want more law, more order, traditionalism, how I deal with you. Very nice. Okay. And let's see. What is the future energy for Virgo? Okay. Two, whoa. Wedding rings. Union, getting married, soul connection, eternal love. And the Phoenix. Wow. Rekindle, growth, change mind. Somebody changed their mind about you, honey. They want you... Congratulations, Virgo. I hope that this resonates for all of my Virgos. So, yeah, somebody went in. They went inward and they healed their heart, okay? The healing heart. I don't know if you see that there. It's focusing. It's probably not. Let's see. All right, yeah. Um, healing from um, a toxic relationship, breakup, or, uh, or addiction. So, somebody took some time and healed, and now they come to an understanding that they want something um, foundational with you. They took some time, and they went away, and now they see this is what I want. So somebody could be getting proposed to around their birthday. Someone's going to take you on vacation. That's what that fire dance was, vacation and proposed marriage to you. Um, this could be a relationship where you guys brought it back from the dead. You know, you revived it, the Phoenix. Um, a new phase rekindling here happening for you, Virgo. Congratulations, okay? Um, if you want to get your own personal reading, if you feel like this energy is for you, you want it to be for you, get your own personal reading. Readings are on sale 40% off. Use code 40 off at the website level, okay? Um, also, uh, I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're a business-minded individual and you want to start your own business or you already have your own business, you can um, now book a discovery call with me to maybe further yourself in your business or get on the line with me and see how I can help you further your business or start your business. Also, if you... Um, 
you just, you know, you need motivation each and every month. You can uh, sign up for the KTMG, the keep the momentum going calls that happen every month. It's a conference call every month. Um, you'll be on a call with like-minded individuals, business-minded individuals who are trying to do the same as you, further their business or start their business. You'll get valuable information in regards to um, business matters, okay? So sign up for that, uh, invest in you, invest in yourself, okay? And um, I just want to shout out to some of uh, the cities where I have a, a lot of viewership. I looked at that. And uh, those cities are New York, Atlanta, LA, Chicago, Dallas, London, and Philadelphia, Houston also. Okay. So uh, thank you guys. If you are uh, watching from one of those cities, go ahead and drop your city below. Or if I did not mention your city, drop your city below. Okay. And let me know how this um, resonates for you. And congratulations, wedding bells. You have both of the wedding cards, engagement ring and wedding ring. So very nice. Um, congratulations again. Take care, guys.